Hi there. This is Raven Hawk from FastWorkingLoveSpells.com. And I want to make a video today about logic versus the real reality. Logic versus the real reality. First of all, logic is point A to point B based on past experiences or fears the fear that if you walk under a ladder the thing it might just collapse all up on your head and then you end up on the ground in the hospital right that's logic there's a lot of, a mixture of logic and fear so Logic for me is based on fear, a little bit of hope in there, but mostly based on what's happened in the past. Like, what are the probabilities of winning a lotter the lottery or a lottery? Very, very slim to almost none. Like one in what, over a million chances? You, you, you know, it's like one person versus, I don't know, one person, one winner, and there's like millions of dollars in a jackpot. So and only one winning ticket. And if they sell about a billion <laughs> tickets, then hmm, chances are your your chances are very, very slim. So that's logical. So you can talk yourself out of it. Now, the real reality the real reality that's where creation takes place that's where success happens that's where productivity happens that's where moving forward building constructing brainstorming seeing results achievable results occur before your very eyes it's a wonderful thing most cases logic doesn't take you there it's your imagination that takes you there there is something you've heard before, probably. If you can dream it, then you can achieve it. It's not if you see it, then you can achieve it. If you can dream it, if you can think about it, if you can scheme it, plan it. I'm not talking about a bank heist here, people. I'm talking about uh, something legit, something that is uh, upholding the law, being on the right side of the law, being doing something constructive for yourself, your family, and humanity. So don't let the words scheme it, you know, give a misleading message, a, a misleading message from me. That's not what I meant. So we have logic versus the real reality. The real reality is what is actually possible, not based on past experiences, because if you've had an experience, experiences in the past, that are mostly leaving you broke, broken, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, uh, mentally, you know, you're always losing, you have a losing streak going in love, in life, in money, in health, in society, in social gatherings, you're not doing too well, you have that history. That's what logic will tell you. If I go to the party coming up, the same stuff that happened yesterday up to 40 years ago is going to happen again. Why bother going? And then you talk yourself out of doing anything. You talk yourself out of trying. But within this, between, imagine logic. This is logic, right? This is logic. And this is the real reality. In between this space right here, here to here is what I call willingness or unwillingness. Because when you learn that if you shift your thinking, you can succeed and be, do, or have anything you want, wouldn't you do it? It doesn't cost much to change your mind or to make a better decision or to do something a little differently. No, 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 it doesn't cost much. What it costs is to bend a little bit, 
Don't be so rigid that you lose every time. Don't be so stoic and so, so rimrod straight that you refuse to make changes. You will lose every time if you keep doing that. Unless you're on a winning streak, then of course keep doing what you're doing. But if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you're suffering because of this unwillingness to make changes within yourself and then acting accordingly with the thought process, the changed thought process, then you will fail. If you keep, if you keep fighting that, you will fail. But if you, you just keep a clear mind that if you can think it, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And if you're doing something, it's not working, be willing to learn, to learn a different way, to learn another way, to learn what works, basically. To learn, well, John Doe, he is doing ABC and he's making money. Logic might tell you, which is your, well, he, he's hogged up all of, all of the results. There's none for you left. Let's say he's selling uh, a bicycle wheel. He's selling a bicycle wheel, you know, and it's private label. It's made a bicycle wheel and it's colorful. You know, kids like it or an adult bicycle wheel. I don't know. But he's making this, these bicycle wheels have them made for him, and he's making money. Now, your logic, you're going to say, is going to be a negative Nelly that, hmm, if I do the same thing, all the customers, he's already got all the customers. Nobody will buy from me. How is mine going to be different? Look just the same. That's not true. Logic. And that logic, that stupid logic, it's not right. It's not productive and it will keep you stuck. It will prevent you from actually taking action to do something different because you become what? You become unwilling in that moment to do anything else because you, logic is telling you, no, that's not going to work. And you already talk yourself out of it. You're not willing to look at any other possibility. You're not willing to look at any other way. You're not willing to look. And next thing you know, the neighbor next door at the next side of you, he does the same thing and he's making money and you're still sitting there thinking, well, now, whatever customers were left over from this guy is buying from this one. I'm, I, what, what chance do I have at this point? Almost none. And I sit here and grow more angry, grow more regretful, grow more dejected. And all the while, I start to hate myself. Because I know it's like, it's like you build here, you're building a reality for yourself where you're not doing anything and you're just feeling like crap all the time. And you, you can feel it. You can feel yourself becoming in this reality. This is why sometimes you have to just get up and be willing to learn and do it. There's millions of people who ride bicycles. All of them will not buy from him. Look at his bicycle wheel. Do something different with yours. Not all of them will like yours, so you'll get your customers. And not all of them will like his, and you'll, he'll get his custom. I mean, you'll get your cost. Not, not all of them will like his design, and he will get, uh, you will get your customers. And not all of them will like your design, and he will get his customers. It, all it takes is a little bit of flexibility. So logic... Don't let logic talk you out of the real reality. What the real reality is, what is possible. What is possible, what you can be, do, or have. That's the real reality. That's the reality, people. That's the reality. If you look at it, like when a, when a, when a sculptor uh, takes a piece of stone or... or, or Crystal, well, I don't know what they use, a piece of stone, marble, whatever. It looks like a big lump. And he chisels and he chisels and he chisels and then the, the shape starts to emerge. Sometimes they say they don't even know 
They don't even have an, an idea in their head of what they want to do. It just comes out. It just comes out. Because he thought about it. It wasn't there before he took the chisel and, and the hammer and started chiseling. He carved it out. He's not saying, well, he could fail. He'll mess the whole thing up, the whole thing. What if it breaks in half? Okay, then get another one. You know? Don't make it where the fear, the logic of, 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 all, of all the bad things. Logic to me brings a lot of fear into things. Now, that's not to say, well, you're going to go bungee jumping with a bad rope. Or you're going to go skydiving because you suddenly become a daredevil. No, 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 no. Safety is different from the kind of logic versus real reality what I'm talking about. Always maintain safety no matter what. But as long as you're safe, take some chances. Do some things you've never done. Don't become this stuck in the mud, unwilling being that is so unwilling to make any changes. Because you will lose every time if you do that. You're going to lose out on life. You're going to lose out on new experiences. You're going to lose out on having a fulfilling, satisfying sense of achievement when you accomplish anything. To me, there is nothing in the world that can compare to achieving something and feel that satisfaction that you did this. You did it. What else can take that place? Nothing. In my opinion, nothing. You did this. You did this. You look back and you see, you did this. Do you remember when I did that? When I did that, when I did this, that, that you know, you, you have something solid to show for it. So don't let logic based on past experiences, which is mixed in with 90% fear, talk you out of the real reality. Because the real reality is what you are carving out in the next moment, and then the next moment, and then the next moment. What I just said is already the past. This right here, as you're watching it, as, it, as, 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 it, it, as the time is going and the time is going, it's already the past. The next tomorrow is the real reality. What is possible is the real reality. What is achievable is the real reality. And that beautiful feeling, that sense of accomplishment is, is, is incomparable. You can't compare it to anything else because that's what you did. You did that. You take the credit. You get the glory. You're the one. Of course, you give thanks to your creator because through him, he sustains everything. But you're doing him proud and you're feeling great about yourself absolutely great about yourself so again logic versus the real reality logic will only see what has happened so far like when les brown again i, I talked about this before and i'll bring it again when he talked about the four minute mile uh the belief i think it was 1953 up to then up to prior to then it was every no one believed that you could run a mile in, in under four minutes. Nobody. They said it wasn't possible. In fact, they said it wasn't possible, which means they were saying it's impossible. So somebody named Roger Bannister, I don't know who, who this guy was, and he did it. He actually did it. Now prior to then, logic was saying you can't do it. A real reality was just you know, just put on hold, basically. After Roger Bannister did it, then high school kids started doing it. Because this one man broke the rule. I'm going to show you logic versus what I know is possible. So you keep your logic and I'll show you. And he did. He did. Whether he did so uh, setting out to do that, but he did or not. Maybe he just was running very fast, trying to accomplish another, and he did he better than that, and then he broke that rule. But then shortly after that, everybody started doing it, who, you know, people who can run that fast, I guess, not me, you know, but you, they can do it. So you can do it. Well, that's what I'm saying, logic versus the real reality, the real reality of what's possible, what, what built the, the pyramids, 
that put together the skyscrapers, that builds cities, that builds dams, that, 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 that cleans lakes, that creates pipelines in the oceans. That's the real reality. Think of no pipeline in the ocean. You look at the ocean, uh, that's not possible. How, how, how are you gonna have a pipeline that's secure enough? They had to get past that, that type of logic to the real reality and they did it. So even though it seems impossible, that's only because past experiences is telling you no. And if you used to be like me, almost failing at everything, then you really got to get past that logic and get into the real reality mindset. So anyway, don't let fear hold you back and don't let logic, as long as you're secure and you know you've taken every precaution, take some chances. Don't be afraid to fail. Fail your way to success, as Les Brown said. Fail your way to success. You are going to fail your way to success. And there is no, it's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful feeling. And one thing I'm gonna tell you, when you stumble and fall, and you will stumble and fall, you are going to stumble and fall. You're gonna fall flat on your face at some point. Don't lay there. Get up, brush yourself off and try again. It's not worth it to lay on the ground. It's called life. Feel as sorry for yourself as you want, but don't take too long. Life is short and it's precious. Make it count. If you need to get a hold of me for any type of spell work or any EFT sessions, 405-332-3968. Um, that is 405-332-3968. Peace out.